<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. How's everybody doing on this beautiful Friday? Who do we got on here? Who do we got on here? Amazing. Been um, a great this? Pete here. Hey. What's Amazing. going on? Pete? Beautiful, beautiful. I know, Pete, I know you're winning crazy. Thank you for being on the call with us here today. I love it. Yeah. Let's see. We got Bronwyn. We got Matthew. We got Leland. We got Kelly. All right. Beautiful. So I know yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Tia. Sergio. Chris. Love you, Chris. Love that video you dropped in the WhatsApp group. All right. We got, um, I know we got a lot of things that happened on the training and yesterday. Um, Sean's going to be jumping on in about five minutes. So I want to go through a few things, uh, but quickly before I do, uh, hey, Mona, does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any thoughts, anything they'd like to share? Good morning, Fernando. I'll share this, Craig from California. Hey, Craig, what's happening, brother? Hey, I just want to share my son. Uh, he's a customs agent down at the border in San Diego, and this is kind of a long-term thing. All of his friends, if, if one person jumps in, more will. Uh, and this is regarding, uh, you know, the real estate investing. We had, he had some old guy come up to him uh, this week and was asking him, so what's this real estate you're talking about? I want to talk to you about it. And he hadn't talked to him, but that was just part of the kind of like the rumor gets around. And so I told, I was very excited for him because he's been talking to people for a few months. He's got a couple guys that are interested in properties, but to get some guy that he didn't know come and talk to him, mm. I said, uh, I just gave him a lot of faith, like, hey, it's working. So that was all. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that, brother. I hope, um, you know, that language and what you're up to transfers over to him. And I'm sure it will with your greatness. Thank you. So a few things want to get um, for everyone who maybe had missed it, thought about it. I know there's been a lot of action flurry. So just kind of want to drop in um, as we give Mr. Callagy a few more minutes. That um, So we were eating buffalo wings. Uh, I think this was Wednesday night. We were eating buffalo wings at Applebee's. Because for all of you who do not know, uh, Sean is like his favorite food ever, besides candy, is buffalo wings. So we're eating buffalo wings. And we were talking, thinking, strategizing, innovating. And a decision that was made is um, that what we, what we were doing in the past was that the full immersion, this unblinded sales mastery in January was 997. Some of you had paid that here on the call, as well as um, our group trainings, which varied anywhere between 297 and 497 a month. Some of you had paid that as well. And um, through conversation and decision and realizing that the ultimate outcome for January was a massive ecosystem merging frenzy and that we wanted to contribute to as many people as humanly possible, uh, we made an innovation and a change. So I want to just introduce that. Some of you know, some of you don't. Um, so I just want to introduce it now. So what we decided to do is that for the full immersion in January and the group trainings, which is the daily huddles like these and the Wednesday trainings, we were going to do a 497 deposit, and then once you attend the unblended sales mastery in January, we were actually going to refund that completely. So what does that mean? That the group trainings, the daily huddles, and the unblended sales mastery in January was a total of 497 deposit, which would be reimbursed, making it equal out to zero as far as cash flow is concerned. So for everyone here who's already paid for January or who's already paid for the training, um, we want to make sure you get reimbursed. So that's something that's present. Um, so let's make sure we contact Tiffany uh, or myself and we want to help you. Um, all that we're going to be holding on to is the 497. So if you paid for January and the group trainings, whatever the balance is after 497, um, we're going to be returning to you ASAP. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, I want to just open that up. I want to keep it short because I know it's a big innovation. We're all really excited. People and energy is flowing. Everyone is galvanized. So I want to open it up to you for a few minutes and see any questions, thoughts, ideas. What do you see? 
Uh, Fernando, why are you and Sean, why is all that happening? So when I flip it over to all of you, what are some of the thoughts you have in your mind at the moment? Go. Offering uh, to just help us out back in that in a financial way like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please. Who's uh, who's speaking? Uh, Leland. Hey, Leland. Go ahead. What was that again, brother? I just think that that's amazing that you guys are able to do that and just give back like that. That's very just another form of the ten and special elements of like risk receptors. Sorry. <laughs> Reciprocity. Reciprocity, yeah. Thank you. Yes. And uh, for the record, this is something that you can all share. So what does that mean? That means if you chatted about this to someone, if you have a client, a customer, a friend, a family member, a girlfriend, a potential wife that you believe would benefit from you know what you've been doing here, from being there with us in January, you can share this exact same experience with them. So ultimately, what does that mean? that you can run around the world and you can share the gift of more money, less time, and more magic uh, with a zero net cost. And why do we want that? Because we want you to win. So if you know anyone in the world, uh, Miriam, thank you for joining us. If you know anyone in the world that you'd like to share this with, um, it's not just um, like something we're keeping in, we wanna share it to the world. So the beautiful thing that's arose is that 1,500 people in January will happen at the speed of the Thunderbolts. And the only issue is how can I get the people I want there as fast as possible? So that's become the game. Anyone else, some thoughts, questions? Going once. What's going on, John? Going twice. Awesome. So with, outside of what we just spoke about, would anyone like to share some wins about what they learned on the group training Wednesday about objection handling? Would anyone like to share any wins overall um, in their experience of the formula? This is a good opportunity to kind of share your voice and be heard. So would anyone like to share what they're present to since being exposed um, to integrity-based influence? Can I... Uh... Can I share something? Yeah, please introduce yourself. Hey, Sean is here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Callie. Fire, fire away. No, no, go ahead. Who, who's sharing? Uh, that was going to be Pete. I was going to share something. Please. Um, so I've always tended to be deferential in client conversations to the client. And, and, and people get excited and people cut, you know, they'll, they'll tend to cut you off at some point. Not necessarily to be rude all the time, but just, you know, because they get excited, they want to jump in. And I always thought that it was like the uh, respectful thing or the deferential thing to let the client kind of speak their mind. And I would kind of just, you know, let, let that happen. But sort of recently over the past six months or nine months or year, I've been sort of preventing that from allowing to be to happen. Uh, like if, a, if somebody or a client begins to cut you off, uh, they could start to try. And sometimes it'll be a little bit of a battle of wits but I'll always sort of try to make sure that my sentence I is finished. And so I feel like that's been allowing me to not necessarily gain the upper hand in a conversation, but at least stand my ground and, and be respected at the level uh, that I feel I ought to be in these conversations by, by never allowing your sentence to be, you know, cut off abruptly without you coming back to finish your thoughts. I was wondering if you have any thoughts on that, Sean. Yeah, no, for sure. So, uh, Fernando, uh, thank you, brother. Tiffany, thank you. And that was Pete, or no, who was that? I that was hear. Pete, yes. Yeah, hey, Pete. So, Fernando, real quick. Um, yes. What, what was the segue into that? Uh, was that just a, a, a new question from Pete in the general questions, or was the segue into that to make sure I have uh, full context? Yes, thank you. So, we'll, let's recreate what happened is we were talking about the amazing gift that you're giving to the world that was decided over Buffalo Wings. So, we went over that. We went over what we're doing administratively. Um, Leland shared the graciousness of what this looked like. And then we were asking, um, would anyone like to share some general wins, um, what they've been feeling since they got exposed to the formula? And Pete rose up and was sharing what he just shared. And now you're dropping in. 
Amazing. Thanks, Pete. Thank you, Fernando. Yes, so here, here's the drop in and I cannot believe you're asking this question because it literally was on I had two prior conversations I had this morning. Um, the topic that came up, the, the serendipitous uh, energetic dynamics that are happening are insane. Um, he, here's the point. Um, when I say, um, when I say unblinded January 10, 11 and 12, it means something different to everybody on this call. This morning I had a call earlier and I said, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, oh, like you have an affiliate link, uh, I guess, that you could send me. So please send me the affiliate link. So when we're having that conversation, that person is thinking something different because they're not just thinking affiliate link. And what I'm making sure of is not only are, are they, not only is it not that, but they're thinking that creates a series of meanings. So if that person thinks affiliate link, they are comparing it to other affiliate situations they've been involved in. Well, there's a massive, first of all, this is not an affiliate situation. There are massive differentials because in an affiliate situation, you're selling other people's stuff. People are not selling this stuff. They're benefiting in their primary business because this stuff, this unblinded stuff, is helping them accelerate in their primary business. And by combining forces with us, Pete sells more of his stuff. He has a conversational piece. He has a sales test to begin a conversation about something interesting, a value add. Then he begins teaching people stuff that draw them more to him and make it more likely they're going to say yes to his primary business. And that's a distinction. Point. I interrupt nonstop as soon as I hear we're speaking two different languages. As soon as I hear knowingness, that is comp that is wrong. But wait, wait, wait. I just want to be clear. It's not an affiliate link. Because it's like, um, so send me the affiliate link and the affiliate link. So now a whole conversation's happening that is just a waste of the other person's time and your time because the presumption is that we're talking about the same thing. So if somebody were to go to me, Pete, everyone out there, to you, Fernando, to you, all of you, and go, yeah, so, you know, on Christmas Day, uh, January 31st of 2020, I can't go to your thing because it's Christmas and, you know, my family, we love Christmas. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. that's not Christmas. So to, to allow the conversation to continue is ridiculous because you know something they don't know. You're not arguing with them. Pete, I want to reframe. You're not standing your ground. You're helping a two-year-old not play with a knife. You're helping a two-year-old go, well, Dad, you know, I want to eat I want to eat with Santa Claus this morning because it's July. And so I'm mad because we can't eat with Santa Claus. It's like, whoa, whoa, it's July. Santa Claus doesn't come till Christmas, pal. Like, that does not happen. And so we, we don't allow conversations to go on where they're wrong. They're incorrect. There's different meanings. Does that communicate, Pete, or no? 100%. Yeah, and Fernando and everyone, all of you. So if you're having a conversation with somebody, like, oh, I get it. Like, you're an affiliate now selling this stuff. It's like, no. What? I'm offering you. And this, like, these breakthroughs, and this is the interesting distinction. And, and I'm going to start playing the game, right, fully. Because I've been seeding. I've been training. I've been developing. I'm going to start playing the sign people up game. And it's going to go up like a pinball machine because of, this, because of the distinctions of mastery and the formula. And I'm saying, follow me, because as you learn these distinctions, growing your business, building investors, doing everything that you're doing, massive increases will, be, will begin and continue. And that's what's at stake. It's fun. And it's fun. Like, it's so fun that people go, like, I had so much fun at Capital Grow the other day when these people were like, oh, you know, uh, two weeks ago, I'm not getting caught up in the tsunami or Sean Callagy and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I was joking about it. I'm like, I walked in. I'm like, uh, I don't see it this way, but I think you guys may think the tsunami just walked in and just like laughing, right? And, the, and they felt a little uncomfortable. I'm like, guys, I'm kidding. Let's relax. Let's get into it. So what's going on and why do you think I'm a tsunami? Fernando, what is that called when I walked in and did that? It's called hilarious. Uh, but what it is, that's so funny. It's so you. What it is, it's a disrupting pattern. Yeah. Pattern disrupting disrupts. patterns. And, right, that, that was the first thing I was looking for. And leaning into the objection uh, yeah, like yeah, diving yeah. into it like yeah, right but it's right. It's the pattern interrupt pattern interrupt by diving into the objection which also displays a ton of hero characteristics 
certainty, integrity, like non-avoidance. Like avoidance is, a, is an anti-hero characteristic. Characteristic. I didn't say I was mean. I didn't say I was aggressive. I didn't say, what, what are you talking about? Like, let's get into this. And I'm like, all right, tsunami is here, fun energy. Like, I don't see it that way, but like, I, I think you do because you said it. Like, so what do you mean by tsunami? You know, like right at it. Like, let's, yeah. let, let's go. Love yeah, sure. and fun. Yeah, please. Well, one of the things that, um, and, and this is like a recent, because I'm constantly analyzing, seeing you speak. One thing that you're great at that like draws people to you. Let's just say like me and you were going to meet to talk about like croissants and you wanted to talk about bagels. As soon as we sit down, the first thing you do, whether we start talking about bagels or cats, is like, oh, hey, by the way, um, you know, we're gonna talk about croissants. And then you go into another conversation or building rapport, whatever it may be, but you always address like what the other person's outcome is. And I swear to God, I feel like you read mine sometimes. And I've noticed like the energetical shifts in people because you know, people have agendas, people have outcomes. And like, we're, you especially, you're aware of that. And when you address it right away, whether we're talking about what they want to talk about or not at that moment, they're like pulled. And um, I don't know if that's, the, actually, now I have a question. Is that the same as leaning into an objection? Because that's not really an objection. Now I'm just interested now that I'm talking about it live. Like, what, what is that exactly? Like, what is that? Yeah, I would call that, Fernando. That's awesome. We should talk more about that. Thank you for bringing that up. I would call that, like, the, the initial agreement stage where I'm like, hey, Fernando, just checking in. How long do you have today? Mm. That's like the deal with all issues that might be on the table as mm. the initial entry point to emotional rapport building, which we should literally put in the full, like, we should have yeah, that, that there that attached deserves, to emotional rapport. Yeah, that, that it deserves deserve, full treatment. Yeah. You're right. Because I do it all the time. You're right. I, you I structure the agreement. I say it when I do it in the training, but we don't talk about it enough. Like, when we're just chatting about the formula. Well, when we're teaching on the formula, in an example, in a role play, we do it. But it's, yeah. the, it's the preframe. It's okay. How, hey, Fernando, how long do we have today? Hey, thanks so much for meeting me, Fernando. Just checking in. How much, how, how much time do we have today? Uh, we Great. got about like Thank you. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we got about like 10 minutes. Awesome. So amazing. And by the way, uh, I think y your outcomes include wanting to talk about croissants, which I'm, I'm committed to getting to. Anything else that you want to talk to? Uh, no, I actually, thank you. Um, I appreciate you bringing that up. Uh, yeah croissants and other things, but what's on your mind, Mr. Carnegie? Yes, yeah, so I dealt with anything. Realizing? Mm. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm realizing is when you do that, like I know we're role playing, but I was like, now I'm in, even though I want to talk about croissants, now I'm interested about what you want to talk about. And right there is an example of reciprocity. Like Boom. since you gave me the gift of being heard and I'm like, okay, well, I don't care now whether we talk about croissants now or later, because now I know we're going to talk about them. So now I want to do what you yeah. want to do. So boom, that's yeah. now listen. That's, that's, mm -hmm. Yeah, no f words, right? <laughs> yeah, so sorry about that. We're, we're, yeah. No, thank you, thank you. So, um, and for everybody, the extent to which we're getting, we feel like okay, like I just want to be inspired. Like talk about the heart and talk about love. Okay, like watch yesterday's video, and what it said was, would you risk looking like a fool for love? Essentially, for your dreams for everything that you want in your life. Okay, that's the aspirational moment. Now let's dive back in. I'm only half kidding. The point is we're gonna do some of that and we need that every day, but it is in this space we're gonna help you make money. It's in this space we're gonna create, co-create acceleration. And yes, we need motivation, inspiration, and we do drop that in, but these technical dynamics can be the difference between you having 10 sales meetings this week and zero. Between you having 10 people come with you, you know, this week, to January 10, 11, and 12, to do business with, not for me, to do business with, or setting it up for this week, other meetings you're gonna have, or not. So I don't wanna just inspire you, I touch you, I you each day. Like that could be found elsewhere, right? We have it here, it could be found elsewhere. I think it's uniquely beneficial here, but the space of the, these days are not just to do that. They're to dig in on these distinctions and, and be checking in. So, you know, something that I would challenge, um, you know, let, let's call it on the, the inner team is to be ensuring, like, Frando, the game is three people a day signing up now for you. Like, let's see how that shows up in the beginning. And that three becomes 10. Because every time you talk to a place, like, a conversation with Sharon should be like, hey, Sharon, 
which is like, let's go sign up, boom, like next person sign up, boom, like anywhere in your world where somebody's not a yes yet, just clean it up in 10 minutes. Like what possible objection could you have? Do you have an unavoidable social engagement? Like why wouldn't you come to this? See how my energy shifted? Yes. It's that and fast. For, it's if, right to it. Like, and it's like, put them on the objection, uh, put them on the objection for you. If it's like, Hey, I, I want you to invest in a real estate deal with me. And you got to put them on their objection after you've asked, like, okay, I'm, I'm sensing hesitation. You're not doing this real estate deal with me because why? It's totally okay. I'm just wildly curious because maybe we're just missing each other. Maybe it's totally not the right fit for you. I'm open. You know, maybe you don't have any money. Like, what is it really? Is it me? Is it the money? Like, what is it? Like, encourage curiosity and openness. Step into it. Lean into their objection. Hey, why is it that you're not allowing me to come in and speak in your organization? Why is it made an agreement? Now you're backing up. Like, what's happening? Like, what's the objection? What's the story? Make sense? Yes, 100% makes sense. And yes. Okay. okay. Anybody have any other I have one more uh, point to touch on, and then we're going like, to rock on with our day. By the way, just for fun, watch the video from yesterday. Matt, yes, our, our video uh, person, did such a great job. Uh, it's, a, it's the Calgary Law, um, you know, Halloween festivities. And uh, we did a 2020 vision video on it, and he just did such a phenomenal job. And the team's dressed up, um, you know, just really cool entry points, amazing pumpkin carving stuff but like really high production quality and it, it looks nothing like my videos looked, you know, a few years ago. So it's just an example of what's possible in a relatively short period. It looks nothing like my videos look, you know, eight months ago. Um, and so one more piece to touch on though, any questions does anybody have and don't let my speed and my energy discourage you from jumping in. Like, don't feel like this is the fast lane going 120 and you're like, I, I can't merge in that fast. You don't have to merge in that fast. You don't have to match my energy, you know, you don't have to match my speed. And yes, Fernando, I'm reading minds because that crosses people's minds. Does it not, Fernando? Say that, say that last part one more time. I said, yes, I am reading minds because that definitely yeah. crosses people's minds. It, yeah, it, um, I, I literally spent like 30 minutes thinking about that yesterday over several things. So very impressive. And by the way, Sharon, Megan, and Stephanie, all from her team, already signed up and registered yesterday. You are like, officially you are registered. Man. Yep. Yeah. And just keep running down, you know, over like a wild Indian with people. Like, let's go. Um, does anybody um, have any questions, thoughts, or comments? Hmm. Again, quick, you know, quick piece. Um, just really, this is for you. Every opportunity you have to answer any question, like, but make it real, like not general. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to this person tonight. I'm afraid they're going to say this. They keep not doing that. Like you can bring specifics. Okay. No problem. It's not for me, for you. Uh, final distortion to go back to the, the Pete comment from earlier. We say on the, on the videos regularly, you know, co-creating breakthroughs and dreams, crushing fear and distortion. Distortion isn't only lying. Distortion isn't only intentional. Distortion is the idea that we spoke of earlier, which is speaking two different language languages. So we go, Hey, we have an event in January 10, 11, and 12. People go, event? I don't want to go to another event. It means something. That's why we call it the unblinded sales mastery three-day immersion. I don't like tracking into people's knowingness. I don't like tracking into people's knowingness. That's why we say that's part of the reason we say ecosystem. It is different, but we also want to track into people's knowingness. It is different, but we don't want them misassociating things. That's why we don't want people to say, oh, it's like a networking event. No. Don't let them track into what they think they know because then they'll create all kinds of other presumptions like, oh, this is like a networking thing. Oh, I get it. Yeah, like, so I'll go. I'll get some cards, whatever. I know what that is. Like, no, they don't. And then they think they know what you are, and you're not unique. You're common. So the selection of your language and specificity in crushing fear and distortion isn't at war with negativity. It's at war with ignorance. It's at war with ignorance. It's, it's a commitment to educate. It's a commitment to have the two-year-old child that you're dealing with as an adult who doesn't understand and thinks they could have ice cream every meal of the day, like hear and see something different. And that's where we are. And today it's like fun Friday again, another week. How was your week? Did you accomplish the things you want? If not, why not? Where's your self-mastery? Is fear ruling you? Is your physiology, is fear just too present? Is fear, is fear getting you at some level? 
physiology, move your body, fire yourself up, yell, scream, break out, listen to music, get fired up, get ready, feel your power, step into your body, play with your Zeus energy, your aspirational energy, your goddess, your fun, vary them. Be, be there, be present, be loving the other person fearlessly. There's nothing they could do to hurt you, reject you. You can't fail. You're loving people. You're crushing distortion. You're educating, and you're emotionally transferring energy to make massive action happen and results happen. Hey, anything? Any final, final Tiffany Fernando? Anybody? Um, hey, Sean, just a quick thing. Um, I always thought, and thank you for sharing this because this just made a, a distinction for me. Um, you know, I always thought when you said knowing this, you were like you're referring to people's ego, like, oh, I know that, you know, like stuff like that. I didn't realize you were actually talking about the language they know and use every day. Yeah, I'm talking about both. I'm talking about ego and ignorance. Ego and ignorance. Yeah, both. Okay. Um, I, I will echo on Tiffany that that's a massive distinction. Um, and, and I subtly guess I subconsciously understood it, but now it's present that it's not only that people know, they think they know what they know, but it's also what they don't know. Um, and that, yeah, ignorance would be a good word. That's a, yeah, that's so a going back to, yeah. So going back to Pete's comment, Thank you, like, we're not standing, we're not standing our ground. Thank you, Tiffany. We're not standing our ground. We're educating people. What we're doing in integrity based human influence is educating people on our ideas, you know, helping them see what they don't see, having them hear them, accept them and act upon them. Hear them you know, energetically, right? Accept them and act on them. That's the key. The action step, in, you know, that's where the energy comes in, because it's beyond it's beyond intellectual. All right. Listen, hey, it is fun Friday. Rock this day. Don't coast to the finish line, and then rock the weekend. Right? We can make a magic happen on Saturdays. We can make magic happen on Sundays. Not only with our family, but accelerating our business in some version of uh, some conscious imbalance. Let's rock it out and take massive action. Hey. I'm Sean, and I'm grateful, and let's go get it. Thanks. Yes, thank you, everyone. Before we start hopping off, um, if anyone would like their own link to, to share the gift of more money, less time with more magic, please uh, let us know, myself and Tiffany. If any of you are excited, ready, and galvanized to join us in January and would like to pursue what, what that registration process looks like, please let us know. It is a blessing and an honor to be here with you on this very special day. Enjoy your Friday, and I'll talk to you all on Monday and in the WhatsApp group. See ya. And happy, thank you, Fernando, and happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much, Tiffany. Appreciate that. Of course. Bye-bye, everyone. Okay, take care, guys. Bye, guys.